Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Bluetooth device is not working or loading properly onto your Windows computer. So, for whatever reason, it's not being recognized. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over a few different methods on how to hopefully resolve your issue without too much of a hassle. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'd recommend trying would be to open up the Start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time and then typing in services best match should say services once the menu options have loaded and it should say right above desktop app so I'm going to left click on that one time to open it up again be patient and maybe will take a moment or so to load and now once your screen looks like this there should be a couple Bluetooth services in here I'd recommend double clicking on each one of them and underneath startup type inside this drop down menu select the drop down and then select automatic by left clicking on it and if server status says stopped left click on start here and then once you have applied the change you want to left click on apply and ok and you want to do that for both of these here so startup type I'm going to set that to automatic and since the server status is already running we're already good so I'm going to left click on apply and ok now, if the service is running, it should be able to hopefully pick up the Bluetooth device if this was the only issue you were experiencing. I would recommend trying that, and if it didn't, I would nonetheless attempt to restart your computer before moving on to the next step. And in between that, check and see if your Bluetooth-enabled device is going to be able to connect to your computer. Now, if that did not resolve your issue, we're going to move on to the next alternative hopeful solution for you guys as well. And that would be to open up the star menu and you want to type in troubleshoot and one of the best matches should say troubleshoot right above system settings you want to left click on that now on the right side here you want to scroll down until you get to find and fix other problems there will likely be something that says Bluetooth here, find and fix problems with Bluetooth devices. You want to left click on that and then left click on run the troubleshooter. And what I like about this tool is that it is specifically designed to look for different Bluetooth issues. And it will go through and check the services as well like what we just checked in the first part of the video. But I would recommend you just try that first just to see if that resolves the problem before getting too deep into anything. In a previous video iteration I made of this subject, I just went into hardware and devices tools through the control panel, but this tool seems a little bit more specific for Bluetooth devices, which is nice. So as Windows continuously updates, that's why you're going to have different features that come out like this. So it says device does not have Bluetooth, Bluetooth is not available on this device. Please try using an external adapter to add Bluetooth capability to this computer. So obviously I don't have the actual plug-in cord, but if you did, you'd want to make sure you're connected to your device properly. And then you would left click on Next. Since there is no Bluetooth device to be connected, that's why I'm getting this error here. But this tool should be able to walk you through how to hook up your device if you're experiencing an issue. As long as the device is not damaged, which I would recommend just checking to make sure your actual device is working. And I know that might sound kind of like a pretty obvious thing, but you'd be surprised some people's devices are not working properly. And it could be the device itself's issue that you might have to address as well. But again, that would be on a case-by-case -case basis, so I really can't go into it from the transmitter end of the Bluetooth device. I'm just dealing with it on the Windows computer side. So I hope you guys can understand that, and I do hope the video did work for you. I would recommend restarting your computer after completing all the steps, whether it says detected, not detected, successful, or not successful. And hopefully that should resolve your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.